and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a tree tone effect. We can use this effect to create photo filters that are based on a specific hue very quickly. Let us copy the original pressing Ctrl D. I drag that to the right. Hit selected. I go to filters, color, and tree tone. We get this menu, and at first, pick a color. I want to have a golden color here. All right, let me cycle through it. Whenever you change the color, you need to uncheck and recheck the live preview to have it shown in real time. As I've said, I want to have this golden tone, orange, yellowish. But the first parameter to play around with is the hue distribution. The effect is directly shown in real time, so you don't have to uncheck and check the live preview. Under type, we've got five options to choose, but only the first two are really useful, so normal and enhanced hue. The rest gives you abstract, very dark or almost desaturated results. Let me switch back to normal and I use the global blend first. You can see that right here with the flower in the foreground. You've got different modes for that. For the most part, lighten is the one that you want to use. The other ones are very intense. There's a glow blend. And again, we've got some modes for that. Normal should be the one to use for most examples. Adjust a local and a global light. And you can see what it does. It's best to just try it out. But in general, I wouldn't want to use very high intensities here. If you've got what you want, just click on apply and you can always reapply that effect. So you could even reapply with a different color. I'll just keep it like that and this is how you can use this tree tone function to create photo filters in Inkscape. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.